The first thing to note here is that every single one of the lamps are connected in parallel with the voltage source, the, uh, the AC power supply here. So every single lamp is going to have a potential difference, or uh, an RMS voltage, of 120 volts. To find the RMS current in each lamp, we'll first have to use the power, or the formula for electrical power. Which is, of course, that the power is equal to the current times the potential difference. Divide both sides of this by delta V to solve for I. And we end up with this formula here, where we take the power for each lamp and divide it by the potential difference given for all the lamps. Now, in the case of lamps 1 and 2, the power is 150 watts. So we use 150 watts for P and 120 volts for delta V. Put this into your calculator and we find a current of about 1.25 amps. Now remember that these values are the same for both lamps 1 and 2, so both lamps 1 and 2 will have this same current. For lamp 3, we have a power of 100 watts. So let's plug this into a new formula, again using 120 volts for the electrical potential difference. And in this case, we find a current of about 0.833 amps. So that should answer part A. For part B, we're looking for the resistance. So we can use Ohm's law, which states that the electric potential difference is equal to the current times the resistance. Or rewrite it algebraically to solve for resistance, which is what we're looking for. And we can see that the resistance is equal to the potential difference divided by the current. Now as we discussed in part A, the current in both lamps 1 and 2 are the same. So we can solve for the resistances for both lamps 1 and 2 using the same expression, where we take the potential difference, 120 volts, and divide it by the current for those two lamps, 1.25 amps. This comes out to be a resistance of 96.0 ohms. For lamp 3, we found a current of 0.833 amps instead. So we'll use that value in place of 1.25, and then we'll find a resistance of 144 ohms.